Welcome to the capstone experience for the essentials of corporate financial analysis and decision-making specialization. By this stage, you've successfully completed the four substantive courses that contribute to the specialization. Starting with the language and tools of financial analysis, where you developed a foundation in how to construct and interpret the key financial measures used to assess and compare the position and performance of public companies. You then established an awareness of the financial environment within which firms operate and are often constrained by, in the second course of the specialisation, the role of global capital markets. In the third course of your specialisation, Corporate Financial Decision Making for Value Creation, you switch from a focus on what was happening externally to the firm to thinking about how the decisions made within the firm might influence its performance. In the fourth course, Alternative Approaches to Valuation and Investment, you have created a very powerful tool set that explicitly links together different aspects of measurable risk with the expected returns of companies, while simultaneously developing a critical awareness of the advantages and shortcomings of alternative techniques. So now it's time for you to show us what you can do. This capstone requires you to employ the skills, techniques and knowledge gained over the four courses to respond to a series of queries in a simulated work environment. So, how does this all work? Well, you will take on the role of Jess, an analyst employed by a large US bank who is currently stationed in Shanghai, China on an unspecified project. You are told by your head office that you will need to be on a video conference call late one evening with your manager back in New York and a fellow analyst who happens to be working on another project in Melbourne, Australia. Let's see how that video conference begins. Okay, Sean, I see you. How are things in Melbourne? Hey, Paul. It's cold and wet here like normal, but the coffee's still great. The project here is going okay. We seem to be on the same page as Mrs. Hartrine in terms of the investment strategy. Hold on, hold on. No names, remember? Didn't you get that email from the IT division? Apparently, our feeds were hacked into last week, so the instruction from the 50th floor is to make sure that we don't mention clients or companies by name in these teleconferences. For example, today let's just talk about the client Mr. X and his proposed investment in Target Limited. I will then follow up with an email that sets out the details. Will that work for you? Yep, yep. Sorry, Paul. Of course. No worries. Now, where's Jess? Can you see if they're online? Yeah, let me send a direct message, Paul, and we'll, we should be good to go in a moment. Paul, will that work for you? It will have to. Let's get started then. Jess, did you hear our conversation about not using names or company identifiers over the teleconference platform? Yep, that's right. So here's the situation. Mr. X, a very important client of our firm, is thinking about making a very large... So, as you can see, you will receive your background briefing across each of the four modules in the capstone via these simulated conference calls. And these will be supplemented by follow-up emails from your fellow analyst, which will provide further direction on how to address the issues raised each week, as well as links to data sources and, in some instances, the data itself. Each of the capstone modules will enable you to demonstrate your mastery of the skills and knowledge gained over the course. We have had a lot of fun designing and then producing what we think is a very engaging capstone experience that we have no doubt that you will highly value and enjoy. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the forums. forums.